Surface believes that nature provides the best ingredients for hair care, skin care, and hair color. Welcome to Surface. My name is Wayne Grunt. I'm a stylist and salon owner, third generation. In 2008, my family and I founded Surface on the principle of providing hairstylists and their salon guests with the finest in products while completely respecting personal health and the earth. Surface provides hair care systems specific to a person's hair texture and needs. As we can see by the lovely mannequins that have joined us, there's so many needs that we have in hair care from curl and texture to thinning to color care to enhancing of, of blonding. Let's have an example of our world of surface. We begin with our trinity for maximum color care to extend the length of your color. We have the Basu for maximum moisture and shine. We have the Awaken to be able to stimulate hair growth, to be able to help provide a thicker, healthier hair and a healthier scalp while styling a fuller hair. We have our curls frizz free to be able to care for curls and style curls, both smooth and straight. And for men, we have our surface men, a simple system that maximizes face, hair and body wash and styling that lasts for them throughout the day. And char for maximum volume, for clean texture and volume combined together. And ultimately, our care for violet and rose for our blondes, for toning and brightening, and surface styling. Styling all free of PVPVA plastics. And blowout, beautiful, faster, longer lasting blowouts with cannabis sativa seed oil. With Surface, our goal is to provide the salon guest and stylist with the product best formulated specifically for their needs. Surface products are formulated with sustainably harvested, naturally derived organic ingredients. Surface is cruelty free, paraben free, gluten free, sulfate free, phthalate free, and vegan. Simply beauty with a conscience. Surface hair, health, and art. Together we will leave the earth a better place. Please enjoy now the foundational sciences of Surface. Surface believes that nature provides the best ingredients for hair care, skin care, and hair color. Surface believes that beauty professionals deserve to earn above average incomes and do so with products that respect their personal health and the earth. The key ingredients of any product are a combination of drivers and actives. The drivers carry the actives into and onto the hair and skin to do their work. With Surface, the key driver is Babasu Penetrating Oil. This organic penetrating oil melts at body temperature, is antioxidant rich and seemingly weightless moisture to shine and condition hair while driving in the actives. The key active is amaranth protein, a never fading flower, which has a natural resistance to UV, providing strength and both color protection. The National Academy of Sciences has named amaranth the top protein, naturally derived, gluten-free, flexible protein. Naturally derived meaning we use biofermentation to be able to break it down from its raw state to a usable protein to atomic weights of 200, 750, and 2000, which rebuilds the innermost areas, the mid shaft areas, and any split ends of the hair. Being a flexible protein means that it moves with the hair shaft and can never dry it out. It attaches first cationically, which is a positive to a negative charge damaging the hair and then it becomes a permanent bonded area of protein. The color beta complex, which is led by ceramide NP. This ceramide is a fruit, acids, and lipids, and it provides a natural UV shield to the cuticle, while antioxidants go and protect the hair from color fading free radicals. This color beta complex is in all surface products. All sulfate free shampoos are not created equal. At surface, natural cleansing is achieved by using organic-based cleansers from babasu, coconut, and palm oil, all which are naturally derived and developed sustainably. Surface is a healthy personal choice. We use natural preservatives with rose ether as the lead to replace parabens. Natural cleansers with pH 4.5 to 5.5 to be sulfate-free. We use vegan protein replacing gluten and animal protein. We use sugars, corn, and vegetable starches, 
Babasu, Palm, Flax, and Argon oils. Replacing PVPVA plastics, we use natural aromas, natural color, essential micro minerals, and botanical extracts, ensuring a healthy scalp, producing healthy hair. We're free of heavy oils, DEA, TAs, and phthalates. We're proud to be partnering with PETA in cruelty-free and a vegan brand, quite simply, beauty with a conscience. Surface is profitability in a green world. Recycle, reduce, and reuse. A healthy being as well as a healthy earth. We are featured on over 25 movie sets. We're featured on magazine covers, proving the fact that a natural product is a high performance product. We're honored to partner also with World Vision, supporting 50 children and their families with shelter, food, education, and medicine. We partner in building freshwater wells, corporate sponsor disaster relief, and provided over 100 Love Makes a World of Different gifts. The drilling of a well will help provide fresh water to as many as 500 people. We partner with the Arbor Day Foundation in forest restoration to quite simply leave the earth a better place than we found it. For community support, we provide over 2,000 classes and events a year. Our top 100 salons average a plus 20% in growth, and these range in size from a salon of 1 to 75 stylists. Welcome to Surface by hairstylists for hairstylists. My family and I founded Surface on the principle of providing high performance products while completely respecting personal health and the earth. That promise remains to you as it does my grandchildren as we move into a beautiful future. Surface hair, health, and art. Natural solutions for all hair and skin types. Trinity Color Care maximizes the amaranth protein, known as the never fading flower, for its natural resistance to UV. The shampoo and conditioner work with the amaranth as well as moringa to attach into the hair. So in between shampoos, it reduces color fading free radicals, actually extending the life of your color, allowing you to love it longer. Many products are color safe. Trinity goes beyond and extends the life of color, but it's much more. In an overview of the Trinity brand, we also have Smooth and Healthy. And Smooth and Healthy is not a keratin smoothing system. It's an amino acid system. And please watch the video and even become certified within Smooth and Healthy. It lives in the Trinity family because of how it maximizes the amaranth protein during smoothing. When we look at more at our family, the Trinity also is led by one shot. One shot is the maximum concentration of protein that is beginning the, the repair process being positively charged, but then, which is called cationic, but then becomes covalent, which means it becomes a permanent part of the hair. One shot is added into lightener to be able to protect and rebuild, rebond the hair during lightening. It's also added into color to be able to strengthen the hair, add more shine to the hair, and increase color longevity. When we take a look at one of my favorite products, it's actually the protein cream, which is a balance of the amaranth protein and also extra babasu oil. It's my favorite, not only as a leave-in conditioning and blow drying for moisture and strength, but also when I use it as a cutting lotion. As a cutting lotion, it helps me detangle, it helps me section, it helps me comb through the hair, and just as an all-round purpose of strength and moisture. Now, the Trinity Tonic is a much finer mist than a protein cream. This is more of a pure protein. It's also for the people that um, they want a very natural feel to there. Don't use anything in my hair. I like a natural touch. But this protein still provides from the tonic the UV protection. And in fact, it can go one step farther. When it comes to locking color into the hair, after I would rinse the color out, shampoo it off with my Trinity shampoo and conditioner and mist with the tonic, I'd also put the one shot into the hair to blow dry. What this is doing is it's strengthening those protein bonds and the ability to hold color. Then when we're all done, we would go ahead and go through our ends
and just very lightly mist the tonic just so that the hair is lightly damp and then I would lightly press the tonic in. You can see I'm using very little pressure, just a medium heat, and I press that in the hair. Now, what that does is it binds that amaranth protein to the hair to help the hair be stronger on the shoulder so it can actually grow past the shoulder, not wear away, but really help the hair to be able to hold its color. So what we've seen so far is the color care that you would use for shampoo and conditioner. If you're wanting a leave-in conditioner to give you moisture as well as strength, the protein cream, the tonic for a very light, touchable mist, a no-feel hair to protein protection and color, as well as the amazing benefits of the one-shot, helping the ends grow longer, protecting during lightning, protecting during color, and ultimately, the Trinity Dry Shampoo. The Trinity Dry Shampoo is completely clear. It's also led by amaranth protein, as well as the cleansing agents it's used are naturally derived from minerals, from volcanic ash. They're hydrolyzed with a lemon rind through ocean water. And to refresh the scalp, you lightly mist on. And there's no starches, there's no residue. And in fact, even the day that you style the hair, it's a great idea to be using on the scalp after you've done your blow dry, the Trinity Dry Shampoo. And the reason is, is when a person begins to perspire with the Trinity Dry Shampoo there already, it absorbs any of that perspiration. At this time, I'll do a light mist over the top. And remember, the amaranth protein provides a natural UV protection to that hair, the maximum color care. Basu provides moisture and life to dry hair, shine and condition. The shampoo and conditioner are comprised of the highest concentrations of the Basu oil along with Moringa. And what the Moringa does is it helps the moisture last in between shampoos. So rather than just allowing the condition and the moisturizing feel that day of, it lasts. Now, when we take a look at the Basu shampoo, it's also your choice shampoo to take down any high lift blonding. You'll hear a little bit later about some toning shampoos and conditioners. That's in a deposit of tone. What we're doing here is just simply moisturizing, adding shine and condition. Now, the next thing that that takes us to is also the moisture mist. The moisture mist is an aerosol leave-in conditioner. The reason that it's in an aerosol is that it's a very fine mist and it can wrap each individual hair shaft and allow that weightless moisture to penetrate. So before I do any detangling, I do a light mist of the Basu Moisture Mist and then lightly squeeze it into the hair. As soon as I allow that to work, I can then come through and detangle. Now the moisture mist allows for shine, for body, and maximum moisture. Now, Basu shampoo, Basu conditioner, and moisture mist. That's the beginning of my daily regime. We did talk about taking down your high lift blonding in the salon. When you're taking down the high lift blonding, in place of the conditioner in the salon, you want maximum moisture and a specific protein to help that moisture attach. So for that, we have the Basu mask. And everybody goes with Basu, it smells amazing, especially that mask, it even makes me hungry, it thinks of cupcakes. But what people are smelling is the vanilla bean. And the vanilla bean combines with the Basu oil in the mask and also safflower. And the safflower helps moisture be able to attach to the amaranth protein. And please remember this, the amaranth protein that we work with is flexible, it moves with the hair. So you can never over keratinize or dry the hair. The Basu is also then accented with 
Yes, one of our lead all-time products, the Basu oil. Oh my goodness, a little bit dry here. So at least twice a day, we need to be able to take that Basu oil, put it on our fingertips, and use it as a toning moisturizer. In the wintertime, it helps my skin produce more natural moisture. And in the summertime, if I'm oilier whatsoever, it balances it, it helps produce just a little bit less. Now the Basu oil, when I first formulated this, was meant as an antioxidant to use, and it still is, to use in the air after color. So after you've rinsed your color, to stream the Basu oil in, squeeze it and leave it. The antioxidants reduce all the free radicals that would normally fade your color. Then quickly we found that, that it works from everything from dry skin to a mosquito bite to a, to a bee sting. Basically, it's one of those things that you never leave home without it. The Basu oil itself is the highest concentration of the certified organic of Basu oil, which is cold pressed from the seeds of the Basu nut. So when we take the oil itself, we can work it over the hair dry, we work it in the hair wet, as well as any areas of the skin that may need just that little bit of help. Now, there's also a Basu Gold. And the Basu Gold, the gold that you see is from carrot seed as well as argon. And the reason that we use the carrot seed and argon is to give us a little more weight to the oil. And the weight that we give to the oil then for a medium to coarse hair helps control it just that little bit better. So for medium to fine, you want the regular oil. And for medium to coarse, you'll work with the gold. And then you have the hairdresser's best friend, updos, weddings, finishing. And what that is, is the light mist of the shine spray. The formula is very much different than the bath suit oil, so don't get them confused. It's just a light mist of a spray. And also being that it has the Vibasu oil concentration, it's a wonderful friend for your flat iron if you have very thick, heavy, full hair that you really want to collapse. To flat iron, you lightly mist, pop, you press with the flat iron, and you get the greatest collapse. You can see the shine. You can see the color reflection. And I have one more hot tip for you for the Basu oil. And the Basu oil, when you're working with gray coverage, to be able to add it into your color formula will also help your color penetrate better for great coverage. The other thing that the organic delivering oil does is it's able to soothe any irritations on the scalp during any chemical service you might be having. So for your choice for dry hair, from the shampoo to the conditioner to the shine spray is Basu, life for drying hair. Surface styling, your life, your style. Could it be active? Could it be glamour? Could it be avant-garde? What we'll share with you today is the proper choice of styling product that you would use to create your look. And you may have different looks on different days to be able to alter. The other promise that you'll get right now is that you will use styling products that completely respect your health as well as the earth. At Surface, we do not use PVPVA plastics. We work all with natural sugars, starches and mushroom fibers. Now the first product I'll share with you, it's actually not a styler. It's in our styling family, but it's called Purify. It's a deep cleansing shampoo that has target specific cleansers. So when you want that deep cleansing, but you want to maintain your color, your protein and your moisture, Purify is a great choice. It's also a great complete face and body wash. What target specific means is the cleansers in it, very much like a magnet. There's four things that they're attracted to. Number one is chlorine. Number one, hard minerals, medication, and also you'll find environmental buildup. They're not attracted to color, moisture, protein. Just like if I had a magnet and I put it on my shirt, it wouldn't pick it up. Purify doesn't pick up the color, moisture, or the proteins. So Purify lives within our styling family as an all around deep cleanser. The next thing we talk about, and I really want you to understand this is wet styling, dry styling, and hold. Because as a stylist is getting that perfect look, you choose a wet styler, then you do a dry styler, and then you do hold. And it's important that we educate our guests at home to do the same. Now, the first thing I'll share with you here is swirl. 
And I've got our wet mani here just to show you some application, base to ends. Swirl is a sea salt spray, primarily used wet to even out texture in the hair, but it can be used dry too, just to activate second day. So I want to mist the hair and light little mist from base to ends. So swirl is if I want to activate a curl. If the curl is uneven in the hair, add more texture or for that beachy wave on second day. The next thing we're going to move to is Reflect. Reflect is my styling gel. I want to share this with you here because as a styling gel, you'll find that it's got a very unique kind of a gummy texture, but it's water soluble in the way that a water base, as I put my hands together, the gel just slips right through the hair. When do I use this? As a base for glamour styling. When I'm going to go through the hair and do a blow dry and then a curling iron work afterwards, Reflect is my choice. Let's give you an example. The look that I would be after with Reflect would be very much a very full, rounded blow dry. I may even use a curling iron set, a big bumper set afterwards. On that bumper set, I would use my Theory spray, which is not only a finishing, but can be used as a thermal protector. So when you think full rum brush, lasting blow dry, I want you to think of Reflect, especially if you're going to use a curling iron after your blow dry. Now, the next blow dry product, jump for volume. So when I want volume, but I want it to clean and I want it touchable, the way Jump works is it has sugars and it has starches that don't like each other. They push apart very much like you would see oil and vinegar. So, and people like happy face Jump. There we go. There we go. Ah, happy hair. So with Jump, I'll, you know, I'll mist it up and I put it down at the base because it's a real phenomenal root lift. Take my jump, squeeze it into the hair. You saw the first place I put it was really at the base. So I get that real root lift. Again, what is it? This is wet styling. So in working with my wet styling, my end result here is volume and bounce. So it's nice, it's clean, it's touchable. And if I want even extra volume here, what I'll do now is I'm going to move to a dry styler. This is my push powder. Lightly tap the push into the hair. And then as I work it, those little starch fibers expand and they give me beautiful, beautiful volume. So now I want volume that's touchable. I'm going to use jump. Nice and airy, nice and full. I'm going to want more texture, a little bit of a tease. Let's take a look at her. Okay. So what I would be doing for wet styling is I would use my taffy whip which is a shiitake mushroom fiber. And you can see the fibers move around, lightly tap it. I like the fibers to move within. And I lightly squeeze that all into the hair. Now, as I'm drying for something with texture, I'm just gonna squeeze and manipulate and push that hair around. Let's take a look at it. So afterwards, I can use here the same product for dry style. So I'm using my taffy whip now. I'm just really going to create some texture. And I just take the taffy whip and keep squeezing it into the hair, squeezing it into the hair. 
Squeeze it in there. Just get that real texture all happening. So here was very nice for my guest at home. She's going to use the same product for wet styling as she is for dry. That was the Taffy Whip. Now, this girl is a little more of our avant-garde. I want some hold to it. So for maximum hold, we'll go to Impulse. Impulse is our pump spray. A nice little mist. And we will get maximum hold to that hair. So now my next wet styler I'll use is Bliss. Bliss will be applied to the hair wet. And it's going to give me a smooth but a voluminous blow dry. So taking it on my hands, working it through the hair. Let's take a look and see what Bliss looks like. You can see it's a very smooth cream. So when I would apply the Bliss, I lace it in between my fingers. And then I just lightly lace it through the hair. Making sure I've squeezed it all the way through. And Bliss will provide body while providing that real nice smooth blow dry. Not firm, like Reflect. Not volume, like Jump. Not texture, like the Taffy. But just a nice smooth control blow dry. So taking a look at a, a Bliss blow dry here, if I want some nice airiness, I'm going to do some dry styling, but her hair here is a lot lighter. So I'm going to use the Airlift. So I'll lightly mist that powder in. And the powder creates a fiber network in throughout the hair. Now, another choice that I have here for glamour detailing, I may take a little bit of my shaping wax. And the shaping wax gives me a manipulating ability in through the hair. Let's say that I dry styling, now I want to move this hair back away from my face. Push it back and away. Push it back and away. So just as an artist chooses various paints, we're choosing the right styling product for the right effect. Now, I'd like to see a little more of even a glamour shine through the back. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take our shine wax. Take the shine wax, dip a little on my hand, heat it up. Now a little trick here. I'm going to take our bamboo brush and the bristles are actually a bamboo fiber as well. They work like a boar bristle, but they're bamboo and they'll absorb the shine wax. And then I'll just lightly brush my finish for shine and detail. So control. Also, I'll use Shine Wax to get rid of any static if it happens to be that time of year. And now, what did we do as an artist? We blow dried with Bliss for body to be smooth. Lighter hair, so we used Airlift for volume. I needed some structure through the sides that was touchable. So just a bit of my shaping wax. And then to finish, I put some of the Shine Wax in my hand, heated it up and put it on my brush. So as we see, there's a different choice for the look that I want to create. Now, we've got something special for you for glamour. Now, let's say if it's curls I'm wanting to add glamour to, we're going to do it two ways here. This is called taffy wax. And the taffy wax, as you'll see, is a wax fiber. And it sprays white. And it's known from the Japanese wax trees where we source this from. And as soon as I rub my hands together, it melts. So where I want texture, I'll mist it onto the hair. And then I'm going to come in and just squeeze. And as the heat of my hand melts, 
the fiber of the wax tree, you can see the beautiful texture fall in. Great. Again, it's a wet application product, number one. And Crave, as a wet product, it gives me texture. I can feel it in the hair. It's not a clean styling product because I want to feel that fiber. So when I'm blow drying with Crave, I get volume, but I get texture. Now, what if I wanted volume, but I, on the shorter hair, but I don't want to feel the texture? I would use actually our texture paste, which leaves a little cleaner feel to that blow dry. Texture paste, cleaner feel. Crave, a little bit of a grittier, punk type feel. Now, my Crave, I can come in, put a little bit on the back of my hand, come through and be an artist. And this is the type of thing that when your guest looks in the mirror and goes, you know what, you really enjoy doing what you're doing, don't you? Just putting those fine little detailed pieces. So again, the reason that I'm choosing Crave here is it gives me more texture to these pieces. If I was using texture paste, it would be cleaner. Some taffy wax. Take the taffy wax throughout, and now it's time to melt. And the heat of my hands melts the texture into the hair and you'll start to see the separation. You'll start to see a more glamorous curl start to sit. And every place that I take my hand to warm, and you can see the color really get enhanced in there too. The real secret with the taffy wax, so don't use too much. You can see I just used a really light mist. And then I came through and I created that really nice detailing base. So here, if I want just a natural hold, I'm going to use my theory. If I wanted a firmer hold with my aerosol, I could use my Theory Firm, or if I wanted hold, I'd use Impulse, because that would give me my firmest base. One of the most important things of second day styling, which is Trinity Dry Shampoo. I want to make sure I'm keeping my scalp fresh the entire time, so every morning it's a light mist of the Trinity Dry Shampoo, and also it adds a little bit of condition over the top. My goodness, we shared a ton of information, didn't we? Make sure you've got it. The best way to do this is think about a guest that you may use it on. Think about a guest who swims a lot, chlorine. Think about a guest in hard water iron. And think about purify. Deep cleansing, respecting your color. Then think about someone that you would like to enhance more texture, more curl. Swirl with sea salt spray. Someone who likes a real sea salt beachy look on a second or third day. Swirl. The blow dry for glamour, round brush type blow dry that you want a firmer blow dry to. Reflect. Volume, but clean volume to the hair. Jump. And that fun texture. Taffy whip. The smooth blow dry while maintaining body. Bliss. The textured short to medium look that you've got a, a, a little bit of a gritty feel to. Crave. That same look that you want a cleaner feel to. Texture paste. Then where you want to mist the spray wax to be able to give you that beautiful shine, the taffy wax. Remember, soft little mist to it. So you can see the wet styling is moving into your dry detailing now. Shaping wax, where I wanted to manipulate that hair and I pushed it away. Shine wax that I put onto our bamboo brush for shine. And two choices of powder. Medium to heavier hair where I want volume and that light hair where I want that airiness to, the airlift. So airlift for light, push for that heavier volume. 
and my hole. Very natural medium hold, my theory. A firm aerosol hold, my theory firm. And hold, firm hold, the pump spray of impulse. And all three of those sprays can actually be used as well when you're doing thermal styling. Now you saw the brushes here and a quick hot tip for your brushes. Um, the round brushes, the TK2 that Surface has, the two inch and the three inch, the key to it first of all is your holes that run all the way through for airflow and out the ends. The next thing are these little bristles on the handle, little bumps. They help stimulate the blood flow as you're blow drying to keep circulation. And then also on the actual brush itself, there's a unique form of tourmaline called Kiyosaki, it's TK2. And what it does is it helps the cuticle tighten down, squeeze out excess moisture, but lock in the necessary moisture and give hair more shine. Then you have our contour brush, which is a semi-round for getting lift at your base, lift at the base, and just control at your root area as well. The tools that we choose, whether they're liquid or whether they're styling tools, will really master the craft of finishing for us. Our bamboo brush, being able to make sure that we've got that shining finish. And even the little things, when we take a look at the combs that we use, the polished teeth to make sure that there's never anything rough on a cuticle whatsoever. The clips that we use that are cushion grip to it, that really control the hair without biting into it whatsoever. At surface, styling is for you whether it's an active look, a glamour look, an avant-garde look. We provide the complete palette for you, all while respecting your personal health and the earth. Blowout, beautiful, faster, longer lasting blowouts with cannabis sativa seed oil, maracuja oil, and leech berry. Blowout is the perfect blowout system. A primer, a lightweight memory spray, a texture spray for clear volume powder, and a dry oil spray for condition, shine, and to refresh the hair. Let's see how easy it is to work. First of all, when the hair is wet, we spray it with a lightweight primer. The primer heat protects as we blow dry, and it begins to provide that internal moisture, as we'll learn more about, for really long-term style memory. After we blow dry now, we can use our hand. Remember that the hair really doesn't have style memory until about 80% is dry. Or if you are one of the people that prefer to start with a brush, you can. Now, here's the second time we apply though. When the hair, and with time sake, we've already done our right side, when the hair is 75% dry, each section that you're going to round brush gets re-misted with the primer. As we begin now to blow dry, we'll see that the brush continues to slip nicely through the hair, and we really lock the style memory and moisture in. The hair dries very fast because of the formalin mineral that pushes out excess moisture and locks in necessary moisture. And the brush just slips right through with the primer. Now, having completed that section, you can see how nice the brush still comes through the hair with the primer and the style memory is locked in along with the moisture. At this point, we're off to step number two. And that is the texture spray. The texture spray is a clear volume powder. And as I mist it, the volume explodes in through the hair, providing continuous protection, volume, and style memory. So coming in now, we've got the volume, we've got the texture in the hair, and there's one final touch that we are gonna work with. And that's the dry oil spray, adding condition, adding shine, and to refresh. So now our dry oil spray we missed over the top. And that light mist of botanicals provides a tremendous shine for us. 
you can see how nice the hair stays to the touch and the tremendous shine. So as we work that through now, the day of, we would use the primer. Remember, it also heat and UV protects up to 450 degrees. We used the texture spray, and then we used the dry oil spray. Let's see some of the different hair textures that we can work with. Heavier, coarser hair blow dries beautifully with the primer. And then afterwards, to add that natural texture, we come in with the texture spray, lightly mist through, and look at the volume just explode into the hair. I believe one of the most impressive things with these botanicals is how they leave the hair so touchable. And to refresh the dry oil spray. Providing wonderful shine and there's zero weight to that hair. Look at the enhancement of the color. Now let's go one step further. In working with medium to shorter lengths that were more glamorous than we're blowing out and then using a curling iron over the top. We, again, we started with the primer. After the primer, we go to the texture spray and that's what I'll separate the curl with. So take that curl that's been set with your iron, lightly mist the texture spray, and just squeeze those botanicals in for that beautiful set texture. And then the next part of the system, the dry oil spray again. Misting it over the top, adding that beautiful shine. Now, the key here is being able to lock the moisture, heat seal it into the hair, providing the hair with volume and shine, with reducing the blow dry time, and providing a longer lasting blowout. The way that that works is by sealing specific moisturizers into the hair. We provide moisture through natural omegas, omega three, six, and nine. And surface sources all of our omega fatty acids, all from plant sources. The omega-3 is a medium weight. It gives hair elasticity, moisturizes primarily the cuticle of the hair. Now, where do we source it? A babassu oil, 47% of the weight of the oil is actually omega-3. A flaxseed, 53% of the flaxseed oil is omega-3s. This omega-3 is primarily, again, on the cuticle. Then we have omega-6, and that's where the cannabis sativa seed oil comes in. The cannabis sativa seed oil is rich in omega-6. In fact, 54% of cannabis sativa oil is weight is omega-6. This is a lighter oil. It's deeper, it's faster penetrating, and can last longer as long as it's sealed into the hair. This is what moisturizes the cortex. Now, the omega-9s are what we known as an occlusive moisture seal. Very little omega-9 in cannabis sativa seed oil. In fact, only 0.5% of its weight. The occlusive oil, the omega-9, is needed to really wrap that into the hair. And we source that from babassa seed and flaxseed oil again. What this means is the perfect balance of moisture for style memory. And the style memory then maintains because the hair has its shine and has its bounce and it doesn't dry out. See, traditional styling products for a blow dry, if they have any plastics in them and the moisture escapes, the hair becomes dull, the style drops from it. With working with the botanicals that we're working with, primarily the cannabis sativa seed oil, maracuja oil, and the, le the lychee berry, we're able to really maintain that style. The key botanicals of blow and their functions are cannabis sativa seed oil, the omega-6 for long-lasting moisture, maracuja oil, known as the passion fruit, light texture, incredible shine and control, and the lychee fruit, the powerful sugar, providing tremendous volume and bounce, and also providing potent antioxidants and rejuvenators. Blow is for stylists and salon guests wanting a longer lasting blow that nourishes hair between washes, soothing a natural aroma that keeps the hair fresh. Blowout is the perfect blowout system.
toning and brightening hair care, beginning with violets. Our pure violet receives its tonal properties from the Mackey berry that we source from Patagonia. When you see the dark purple package like this, you know you're depositing a nice rich violet tone. And the longer the shampoo and conditioner leave on, the more of a violet tone that you receive to it. Now, the other great benefit that you have is the violet toning spray, the conditioner. So when I lift this up, take a look. Shampoo, conditioner, and just that light little bit of violet is the toning spray. But now what about that really the light kind of purple beside it? Well, that's the mask and the blow dry cream. The reason that they're lighter is so we identify there's a lower level of the Mackey berry. So it doesn't deposit any violet. It just gives enough to increase the reflection of light for shine. So when you're trying to brighten that blonde, your violet is really the way to go. Now, the shampoo, the condition, and toning spray, it would be a regular at-home regime. When you're blow dry, the blow dry cream is beautiful to maintain the brightness. When it comes to the mask itself, some very special properties. On high lift blonde hair, the porosity can have very large spaces within the hair. It's hard to hold that moisture in that very porous blonde hair. And what we're able to do here is set up some of the amaranth protein that attaches to the edge of the porosity and then attaches to the moisture benefits of the nourishing violet mask. And it holds that moisture within the hair. So you can use it to brighten on a daily basis, but especially use it also as a treatment in the salons. So if you want to brighten and add extra nourishing moisture after that high lift blonde treatment, use the violet nourishing treatment. And that is shampooing off. If you want to just maintain moisture with the Basu shampoo, if you want to create tonal value, use the violet. Again, tonal value or moisture. We allow you to be in control of what the hair really needs. Then for the insulin treatment, you'd apply the nourishing mask, put Basu oil over the top, cap under the dryer for 10 minutes, rinse it, come out beautiful, bright and blonde, and away you go. But what about some of those rose golds that you see right now? So when we take a look at the surface rose, the shampoo, the conditioner, we always think in a minute of then going, how do I add a rose tone or a warm tone to my blonde if that's what I want? Well, what about the redheads and the brunettes? The same thing, if you find that brunette's just a little bit too mousy, oh my goodness, surface rose is amazing to be able to brighten that up or to brighten the redheads. So what we have in our toning and our brightening hair care is our violet for our cools, our rose for our warms. One of the great ways to share this in the salon with the guests is with our pure color chart at the very last page you'll see the love your color longer we explain using the trinity shampoo and conditioner for longevity the basu on your blondes for moisture but then if you want tonal deposit you have an example of the rose and of the violet at surface we allow you to love your color longer and put you in control of brightening or toning to help you maintain control, be aware the longer you leave the violet or the rose on the hair, the more deposits you get. So if you want just a gentle rose gold, it's going to be, oh, shampoo, leave it 30 seconds, rinse it, conditioner 30 seconds, away you go. If you want more of a rose to it, leave it up to three minutes of shampoo in the conditioner. And the more often that you'll use them back to back, the deeper the deposit. The rose has its pigment from the natural rosebud. The violet from the Mackey berry. Surface puts you in control of your toning and brightening. Awaken, revitalize your scalp, rejuvenate your hair, and visibly increase the diameter of fine thinning hair as you style. Awaken has two components. One is the scalp and the hair care, and the other is the styling. We'll share with you the uses in a snapshot view of that today, but I highly encourage you to become Awaken certified. You can go on to our website, link into the professional tab, and challenge yourself while learning via video and slides the details of what causes thinning hair, how we can rejuvenate thinning hair with Awaken, 
without the use of any drugs, working strictly in a natural botanical world. As it comes to the uses, the first thing we'll start with today is pre-shampoo. Yes, the world is kind of pre with that. It's pre-shampoo. So it can be applied, the Awaken Elixir, dry to the scalp before you even wet, or the scalp can be wet. And we lightly missed it. What happens here is there's a kinetic energy that begins to deliver vital nutrients down to the scalp. Actually helps to help even hair even lift away. Same thing for women. Before we begin the shampoo, we missed on the elixir. The elixir is massaged in for a minute and the guests will always comment, oh my goodness, that feels amazing. It's either to them going to stimulate cool or it's going to stimulate warm. It's a combination of a cayenne pepper and also a mint and oil. So people have different senses towards it. That's the beginning process. Then we shampoo. Two lathers, we rinse. The Awaken shampoo even increases the stimulation that much more. From there we go to the conditioner. And even if you have very thin or very short hair for some of the guys or, or the girls, is the conditioner is important because it conditions the scalp as well as the hair. At that point, we rinse the conditioner and it's back to the elixir. This time the elixir stays on. Missed it on the scalp. Missed it on the scalp. And now comes the treatment. This, I believe, is one of the most important elements. And you can take it and you can drop it on, or I like to even just do a light stream. Take that through any of the thinning areas. Now on women's hair, we may want to work into the temples a little bit too. Maybe want to look into areas in through the nape, any areas that are thinning. Then again, it's massaged for a minute. So this is in our pre-cutting stage or at home on their daily basis. Now, as a lead-in moisturizer, we go to the Awaken Mist. It's very light. I like to use it as I'm cutting, fine thinning hair, and now I'm ready to go into my haircut. Or at home, they're ready to style. One hot tip though, the Awaken Mask for a scalp facial. To be able to help exfoliate as well as add moisture and strength in the hair, the scalp facial in the salon, and please go to the separate video on this and watch this treatment. This treatment in the salon automatically kind of kickstarts that growth pattern and maintains it through. So there's your awakened mask. And when you're using the mask, you use it in the place of the conditioner. So now we've got scalp and we've got hair care pretty much complete. Let's go to styling. Best friend, write it down, best friend, is the awakened thickening spray. The awakened thickening spray wraps a botanical fiber around the hair, visibly increasing the diameter of it. So this will give me control, but it really doesn't give me any styling hold. It simply thickens the fiber of the hair. Hot tip coming at you outside the Wake Up, Wake and family is Trinity One Shot, and that's for the long hair. The add-on that I use here, if somebody with fine hair a lot of times that hair tends to wear away on the shoulders, won't grow any longer. To help it prevent from that wear, I'll use the one shot on the ends. So now, this lovely lady here, she needs a little extra thickening just on her ends. So we'll use the thickening cream. Take the thickening cream, work it through those ends, and now we're ready to start styling. Well, if we wanted a look that had little volume, just control, we can work ahead right now. But the majority of ladies are going to want more volume. And what we're going to work with is the protein a mousse. The Awaken Protein Mousse, as you'll see, is a beautiful, beautiful, luxurious base mousse. And what it does is it wraps an additional fiber around the hair, making it visibly that much thicker when we style. Now, let's set these lovely guests aside. At this point, he may move into his med, men's styling mud. And let's bring this lovely lady back. You see, when it comes to styling fine thinning hair, one of the mistakes that's commonly made is that people think that it instantly needs volume. 
If we give it instant volume, what happens is you can see through the fiber. That's why we use the thickening products first. That's why we ended up with the thickening mousse to wrap the fiber around the hair. So at this point, step number one, I would reach outside of the Awakened family into our stylers just to have a fine mist of air lift. Really light for fine hair, little extra volume. I'd also go to our Trinity Dry Shampoo. Why would I do that? The reason is, is if it's humid or if the scalp perspires, it drops fine hair quicker. So by using the dry shampoo, just even the day of the style, if I perspire or humidity happens, it grabs it right away. So, and this is also your second day product for fine hair. You ready for this one? The Awaken Finishing Spray. The Protein Finishing Spray is also going to blow a fiber into the hair for additional thickness. And I use that term because it sits with volume because as I'm styling my hair, I want to increase the actual fiber for it. So what we've shared with you today are the, the uses again. When it comes to the scalp and the hair care, I highly recommend that you share the kit with your guests. This really gives them what they need at a great value at home. And it also provides you some of the sciences and basics as what happens with rejuvenating fine thinning hair. Please, Go on to our Surface Hair website, go to the Professional tab, and really get the detailed information and become Awaken Certified. Curly Girls. Well, there's a lot of variations of curl, isn't there? We go from our, our very tight, kinkier base. We go to our loose. Sometimes we need to even encourage that base. But there is one common challenge, and that's frizz. Welcome to Surface Curls. My name is Wayne Grund, Surface Founder. Today we'll share with you learning in two points. The first segment here will be face-to-face. -face. It'll be me interacting with curly hair and the curly products so you really see their use. And then we're gonna go into a more technical explanation of everything in a slide presentation. Ultimately, I hope that you all challenge yourself to the Curl Certification Program for Stylus. And also to be able to attend one of our hands-on Curl Certification Programs that involves the cutting of curls. So let's start with, first of all, the key to curly hair is to eliminate frizz. I'll give you a little overview in the beginning of it. What is frizz? So if you have a hair shaft and it is a straight hair, so imagine this, the actual hair shaft being straight, there's structural bonds that run horizontally that hold that hair together in the protein fiber. Light hits it, it's shiny, the cuticle is compact, it holds color with it. Now, as that hair curls, where it bends, that structural bond now is stretched. The bond is on the inside. The stretch on that bond causes the cuticle to raise, and that's what frizz is. The tighter the curl, the more stretch you have on the structural bond, and the more frizz that there can be. And what that frizz is, is the stress that's on the bond raising the cuticle, and that's where you lose moisture. That's where color fades from. So the first thing we note at Surface Curls is we work inside the hair to strengthen the structural bond with vitamin K that we drive from cocoa butter. And yes, anybody who's already used it goes, it smells amazing. Well, please let me share with you what that smell is. It's certified organic cocoa butter and it's vitamin K that works inside the hair to hold it together. The way that we get it in there was the certified organic babassu oil. The babassu oil is an organic penetrating oil and it penetrates the hair shaft taking in the vitamin K. It also carries with it tremendous moisturizing benefits. It also carries with it amaranth protein, which is a flexible protein. 
In today's day and age, there's been many advancements since the Curly Care products that were derived in the 1990s and early 2000s, one of them being protein. People were scared of protein in curly hair because it could possibly dry it out. The protein that Surface uses provides flex to the protein so it can strengthen the hair without drying it out. The other thing I want to identify is the challenge of silicones. In the 1990s and early 2000s, that science was 100% correct because the cones is a better term, the cone family being dimethicone, silaxicone, depending on the size of the cone molecule, they could coat the hair and they could end up feeling good in the beginning, but it would dry it out long term because they weren't water soluble. That was then, this is now. Surface derives cones, whether it's silaxicone, whether it's dimethicone, from natural sources of sea sand and quartz. They become emollients, which are water soluble, but while in the hair, help hold moisture in. So with that, we take you into the new worlds of curl care. There's also two directions that we're going to take today. One is in caring for curls, whether you're embracing them and wearing them defined, or whether you're taking those curls and you are smoothing them. So to begin with, let's jump into the proper curl care. What we've done here is we've shampooed with our curl shampoo, as you would in the shower. Then here, because we were working with a very tight kinky curl, we chose to use mask as you would in the shower. If you're working with a curl that wouldn't need as much moisture, you could use the curls conditioner, but every five shampoos, you could still use the mask. Key point, in the shower, the mask is applied to hair that tends to have more tangles to their curl, and then take it, squeeze the mask in the hair, leave the curls mask for your 60 seconds, and then comb it through right in the shower. That's on your extreme basis. Please never ruffle dry your curls. We haven't here. What we've done is we've just squeezed the moisture out. Now, you know what it can look like underneath? Yes. Please, at this point, we do not begin combing the curls whatsoever. That's when we use the Curl Whip. The Curl Whip is a leave-in conditioner and we apply small amounts throughout the hair, squeezing it from the ends up. The reason that Curl Whip is a foam is to maintain a very, very, very light weight. And as we squeeze it, we can actually feel that moisture go into the hair. Very small amounts, working my way all the way around. Now, as I work my way around and squeeze this in, I would have an option too, at this point, of going ahead and using the curls mask, squeezing it in, and even doing a treatment, doing a bake. I won't be going into the details of a bake in this training experience. However, look at our university online and see the bake right from the start to the finish. A tremendous in-salon treatment for your curly guests. Now, having squeezed it through, and our hair here is extremely kinky meaning it's very thirsty. The structural bond has an extreme stretch on it, really opening it up. So right now, even before I go to comb and detangle through, I'll use a little bit of high impact moisture, which is the serum. I'll take a little bit of the serum, and especially if there's any real frizzy areas, I'll work it over the top. So let's take the serum again, a little on each side, and you can see that's just a very nice moisturizing oil is what that serum is. If I have baby, baby fine curly hair, I may choose to use basu oil, which is a little lighter. But for medium to coarse curls, please use the serum. Now, after we've squeezed it in, now it's time to detangle. So at this point, 
I'm going to use the surface curls comb. We'll start on their ends and we'll work our way up. So let's take a look at how nice this can comb through now. So as I'm combing through, I'm separating the curls, very little tension that's on them. And if I do find a knot anywhere whatsoever, I'll make sure I gently take a little bit of serum and go back over top of that area. So taking that line through, very gently combing those curls all out. You'll see when we go to embrace the curls, we'll squeeze the curl pattern back in. But before we begin either air drying or diffusing, which we'll go through today, I want to make sure that those curls have been completely smoothed through. I will not let any of the tangles dry into that hair. So we come through and just continue to work your way up. I think the most impressive thing is I'm not having hair in my comb. I'm not having hair break off out because I went and I was strengthening that first. So let's work our way very gently through our curls. And then at this point, let's embrace them. So we'll take them and we'll set them through. And I'll take you through the steps that we set this tighter curl in, as well as the steps that we can use the looser curl in. Now, first option, let's say that my guest here is trying to grow her curls longer. The actual cuticle on tight, kinky hair may be only three layers to a maximum of five. So when those curls hit the shoulder, they begin to wear away. It's friction. It's like wearing the same sweater every day for 365 days. You're going to wear the elbows out. So at this point, what I would do is I would take my one shot, which is the maximum of the amaranth protein, and right through my ends, wherever I'm trying to grow that hair longer, I work my one shot. I then take the top, I put it back on for my next time around. So having taken that, squeezing that one shot in. Now, let's say we're going to define our curls. In defining the curls, the first thing I'm going to do is pick up the Frizz Free Spray Gel. Frizz Free is concentration of glycoproteins and sugars that wrap the actual hair shaft in defining the curl or You'll see afterwards, I also use it if I'm smoothing the curls. So now let's come in, mist the frizz free in. It has very little to no hold. It's entirely responsible now just for wrapping that hair to have it be frizz free. To have more hold and definition, I'll move to our firm mousse. Shake it well before its application, and you'll see it comes out in a very thick, rich gel foam. And the same thing as I did here, because now this has hold. We haven't really applied anything with hold yet, and we'll squeeze it from the ends up. The even distribution of your styling product is so important. Really focus on this one. Curly hair can also dry very fast in the porous areas. So if you get distracted whatsoever before you put your styling product on and the hair is too dry, the ends may sop up more of your mousse and styling product. So make sure the moisture is even in the hair and then you evenly distribute your styling product. So working it from ends up. Now, here's a hot tip, depending how much time you have at home or in the salon. If you have time at home, 
I suggest allowing the hair to air dry as much as you can before you pick up your diffuser. Sometimes time doesn't allow that. This is a must, as was the curls comb. This is a curls rake for every curly girl. I want lift at the root. So I want to make sure I don't disturb that curl pattern now. I'm going to lift that base up. And remember that friction disturbs the curl and can equal frizz. So I've got my shape just the way I want it. I can let it air dry some. And then if I want to, and I will finish, if I want more of a defined curl, I'm going to finish diffused. Especially if I'm a curly girl that's got a looser wave like this, I really need to define that hair and I need to be able to diffuse the base. So let's go to a little bit of a, an example here of what I can use at this point. And it's what we did in finishing here. I want you to think of the curl now. And this curl looks a little lazy, doesn't it? I think it looks pretty cool, but I need if I need to enforce it more, and I did here, I'll go outside of the curls and I'm gonna go into surface styling, and this is swirl. So if I have a curl that's a little lazier, I'll take the swirl and I mist it onto the damp hair after I put on the curl whip leave-in conditioner mousse and before I style. So at that point, what it's gonna do is it helps crispen that curl up. Now for diffusing. When I diffuse, I have to use gravity as my friend. Otherwise, my root lays down. So as I diffuse, I'll take the head, turn it to the side, and get the gravity off of the hair. I will use a low speed and a high heat on my dryer. When the hair is almost dry, I'll turn my heat down to cool to help set that in. Here's another really important hot tip in setting that curl definition. And that is the curls finishing spray. When the hair is still damp, I'll mist the finishing spray in and I'll finalize that curl. And as soon as anybody goes, smells the spray, they go, oh, that smells amazing. Remember to remind them what they're smelling is certified organic cocoa butter, and it's the vitamin K that's helping strengthen that bond. Now, you have to commit. When I'm doing my final touches on the hair, and it's a little bit damp, and I go, oh, I'll just let it dry the rest of the way on its own, here's the challenge, is what happens is as it dries the rest of the way on its own, it pulls the root area down. So you really want to make sure that you finished it all the way. And when it is finished and dry, you take the curls finishing spray and we mist it through again. Now, after I'm done misting it through, I may want to define it a little bit more. I may want a little bit of separation with it. At that point, that's when I'm going to go to the curls cream wax. The curls cream wax comes onto my hand. I'm going to heat it up lightly, and that's when I'll go in and I'll define any of those curls. Remember, I'm not going to brush them. I'm not going to pick them. I'm simply going to define them. And I prefer to never do that with a dry hand. That's where my wax gives me that beautiful separation. The cream wax also adds some nice moisture to the hair. And you can see them really nicely defined. So whether I'm working on very tight curly hair or kinky, whether I'm working on loose hair, I'm going to go in and define them. And it's a regime. Now, at this point, I know many people would say, well, which one do I need to use the most? I suggest, as a stylist, you recommend to your guest the complete regime and let them know when their beauty budget affords it, 
they can move into additional products. Because if I want this look, I need everything I've used right now. The best way to begin to get into your curls is what? Your box set. It's your shampoo, your conditioner, and your leave-in curl whip. So that might be recommendation number one. Then recommendation number two for sure has got to go to what? Got to go to the frizz free spray gel. Now, whether I'm a loose curl or I'm a tight curl, here comes another element of recommendation. Daily moisture. Because what happens is that structural bond tends to want to reform. And the hair needs additional moisture and that vitamin K. So every single day in between, yes, you can last in between shampoos on day two, day three, day four. We take just a little bit of the serum and we refresh the curls in the morning. So I'm just lightly squeezing it into the hair and we're moisturizing those curls every morning. So now, do I need this? Yes, if I want to moisturize the curls, but there's something else that's happening at this point. By moisturizing that curl and reducing the frizz, I'm helping my hair color last longer because it doesn't have the raised cuticle, as you would call the frizz, to be able to escape. So at this point, we see that the regime now, for def definition, I want the curls for a mousse. To set the curl, I need the spray. We need to respect all of the guests' beauty budgets out there, but the plan is to be able to become into the complete regime so that your curls are absolutely perfect. Now, one of the other things that may be new to many curly girls out there is hairspray. And I've been blessed to be married to a curly girl now for 42 years. And when we first started dating, even in the years before that, this girl had the most beautiful curly hair, but boy, could it become frizzy. Yes, tell secrets out of school, she was the curly girl that would even try and sleep with a bathing cap on to collapse those curls. So there was many years that Deborah would say to me, don't touch my hair, I just did it. Because you know, friction is frizz. The challenge was in those other years, hairsprays and styling products had plastics and they would hold the curl together. So yes, if I reached over and I touched her beautiful curls, what would happen is the plastics that were holding curls together would pull apart and there's extra frizz. So being motivated by my lovely wife, when we did curls, they're plastic free. One of the key ingredients is the sugar proteins, the glycoproteins that not only work inside the hair, but the sugar fibers that hold the hair. So as you see, the Surface Curls hairspray has no plastic, so they don't stick the hair together. They give it beautiful style memory. Now, in identifying those elements, there's another thing we need to touch base on is, what about when you wake up in the morning and you may have a lazier curl? And it's the curl that you slept on, it may have drooped, a oh, hot tip coming to you. You got long hair, you really want to embrace the curls. Before you go to bed at night, you can very loosely take a ponytail on top of the head and use a scrunchie to put it up with it. You'll find in using surface curl styling product, it's not really that necessary, but it does protect longer curls that much more. When you wake up in the morning, you re-moisturize them with your serum, but what if you need to touch that curl up just a little bit? Well, let's say that I, I'm just going to grab one here. It does look good. Let's say that this area was looking just a little bit lazy. What I can do is I will rake it through. I will take the curl spray and I use it as a curling thermal and setting styler. So now I can curl right over the top to enhance that. You can see that it is no stick whatsoever because there's no plastics. Drop that beautiful ringlet out. Please let it cool before you touch it. So before I touch this now, on my second day, third day, fourth day defining, just a little bit more cream wax, 
into my hand, take the area that may have gotten a little lazy, yes, it's cool, and separate it gently to embrace that curl again. Now, and I've joked with this throughout the world, but it's so true, do one of these. Anybody see a magic wand? No. If I want these beautiful curls to embrace, I need the products that have been formulated specifically to do that. Then at Surface, we're committed to providing the products that completely respect personal health and the earth. Now, what about if I was moving into taking my curl smooth? The care stays the same. Please note that. It's my curl shampoo, my conditioner, my mask, my serum, my, my, my leave-in. But if I want to go smooth, at this time here to take curls and blow dry them smooth, there is only one go-to product. So we stay the same, but at the point after we've applied the serum, before we go to the mousse, we go to the smoothing cream. And I stress it again. I know I've said it many times, but please bear with me. When I'm smoothing, the frizz-free spray gel is just as important as it was when I was curling. So the frizz-free spray gel is on, and then is my smoothing cream. The smoothing cream has a high concentration of the vitamin K to be able to speed the smoothing, and it also has tourmaline. Tourmaline is a mineral that reacts with heat to help tighten the cuticle down. As you know, many people with curly hair, when you begin to blow dry, even going smooth, what does the hair do? Bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. We want to be able to collapse that hair down. So by using the tourmaline, it tightens the cuticle and it helps a nice smooth blow dry. Now, what if I also then want to come in and use a little bit of curling iron on or flat iron on it. So here's one thing that I saved for you. Because remember, we set the curls earlier. With the curl spray. And now what we're going to do is use that same curl spray as a thermal protectant for my flat iron. And as you can see, it becomes a one pass smoothing. When you do see any of the steam come off, that's actually taking the protein and being able to weld it into the hair. So we'll take another section, we'll move up here. Now, I'm taking a very large section just to be able to respect the time that you've graciously given us as surface here. And the density of the hair would depend on how thick of a section that you would take. You can see the shine, you can see the protection that we get onto that hair, and we comb it across. Now, before I touch it again, I'm going to let the hair cool. And now, with our smooth area dry, I'll take just a little bit of the serum, take that curl serum over the top, and come in and finish my smoothing line. At this point, it's controlled, and it's nice and shiny. One other hot tip on glamorizing curls. Whether I have a very, very tight curl or a looser curl, I'm gonna go into the Surface Styling products again. And my very favorite glamour product is the Taffy Wax. So what this is, is the Japanese wax tree. And you'll see when it comes out, the light, white fiber of the wax, but as soon as I squeeze it, it melts into the curls. 
So as it melts into the curls, you can just see the shine glamorize the curls. The heat of my hand melts it. And those thirsty curls even have now a little bit of extra moisture. Let's take a look at how we can glamorize that looser curl. We'll take that curl, we'll lightly mist again. And then the heat of our hands melts that wax fiber into the hair. Oh my goodness, is that absolutely gorgeous or what? And that's the taffy spray wax. Taking, squeezing that in, melting it into the hair, melting that into beautiful glamour curls. The other surface product that's an absolute must for curly girls is the Trinity Dry Shampoo. Now, there's two things I want you to identify as when you first do your curls in the salon or at home, an enemy is moisture and perspiration is moisture. So on day one, if you're on a high humidity day, make sure that after you're done, you've misted your scalp with the Trinity Dry Shampoo. Why? Because when you begin to perspire, the Trinity Dry Shampoo will eliminate the moisture from it, as well as your in-between days to refresh in the scalp, and it also provides some extra UV protection. My name is Wayne Grund, founder of Surface. I hope you've enjoyed the experience we've had today with Surface Curls. From caring from the curls, to being able to style the curls with definition, embracing them, to styling them smooth. We care for your curls from the inside out to be able to defrizz those. Please join us for the detailed slide-by-slide -slide presentation of the sciences behind the curls products. And I challenge you as a stylist to become curl certified and attend one of our hands-on cutting curls classes. Welcome to Surface Curls eLearning. My name is Wayne Grund, Surface Founder. Today we'll learn the details of the structure of textured hair and what is frizz. Five necessities for beautiful, healthy curls, caring for curls, styling curls defined and smooth, and the 10 must-dos for curly hair. The presentation and training you're about to go through, you'll find the slides that support this on surfacehair.com professional in the certification for curls section. Frizz. Frizz, breakage, and dull curls are the result of stress on the hair's structural bonds, which results in moisture and color loss. The curlier the hair, the more natural stress on the structural hair bonds. The hair follicle shape determines hair texture. The rounder the follicle, the straighter the hair. The more oblong the follicle, the more wavy, curlier, and ultimately the spiral coiled kinky the hair. Straight hair. Structural bonds are horizontal. No stress, good shine. The bond runs evenly across the hair. Curly hair, structural bonds are stretched diagonally. At the point of stretch, it creates frizz and damage. This stress point is where moisture and color is lost. The frizz occurs and the hair is dull. Surface curls, the structural bonds are strengthened. The cuticle bound to the cortex, whether the hair is curly or straightened in styling. 
Fabasu Organic Penetrating Oil provides moisture. Amaranth Gluten-Free Protein provides flexible strength. The structural bonds are strengthened from vitamin K sourced from cocoa butter. And sugarcane provides glycoproteins which bond the cuticle to the cortex and tourmaline locks it in. Moringa, the antioxidant, provides clarity and shine by reducing free radicals within the hair. On surface curls, strengthen, hydrate, and moisturize the structural bond elasticity. Condition and mesh the hair's fiber during styling, curly or smooth. As you see the example of a straight hair and the horizontal bonds with no stress. On extreme example of curly hair, you see the structural bonds are stretched diagonally, which causes frizz and damage in the stress points. Five necessities for beautiful, healthy curls. Number one, elasticity. Cocoa butter is rich in vitamin K and magnesium, which strengthens the hair elasticity, allowing curls to maintain style. Specifically, vitamin K strengthens the structural bonds. Hydration. Add moisture. Babasu oil provides weightless penetration of cocoa butter's omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids, which moisturize the cortex and the cuticle. Moisturize. Emollients lock in the moisture, reducing frizz all day long. Babasu oil and cocoa butter combine with antioxidants and naturally derived shampoo-soluble emollient cones. Surface naturally derives cones from sea sand and quartz. They lock moisture into the hair and are 100% water soluble. Surface cones are not to be confused with non-water soluble cones. Cones vary in size, with the first syllable of their name reflecting the size of the molecule. For example, dimethicone is a larger molecule, while selexahexacone is a smaller molecule. Various sizes are essential for supporting moisture at all depths of the hair. To provide long-term benefit to curls, they are shampoo soluble. Strength. Amaranth protein provides a flexible strength to curls, which supports style longevity and anti-frizz. Important to note, Surface has developed amaranth as a flexible protein that moves with the hair and does not harden to the hair, which can dry hair out. It's recommended that traditional keratin protein not be used on curly hair. Style. Glycoproteins derived from sugar interlock the cuticle and cortex to provide styling hold and curl control. Heat styling is now good for curls as tourmaline locks glycoproteins into the hair, reducing frizzing and adding style longevity. Do not use plastic PVPVA based stylers on curly hair. Hair products, cosmetic products, all products contain two categories of ingredients, drivers and actives. The drivers carry in the actives to the hair and skin to do their job. Surfaces harness Babasu penetrating oil as both a driver to carry botanicals into the hair and for its own source of moisture and antioxidants. Surfaces replace traditional wheat keratin protein with amaranth, known as the never fading flower for its natural resistance to UV. We derive it through a hydrolyzation process to liquefy it into three atomic weights for sizes that can support strength in the hair in the innermost area, 200 atomic weight, mid shaft 750, and the biggest split end base of 2000. This protein is cationic, which means it's positively charged, and it has a catalyst that then hardens to the hair to become covalent while maintaining a bond building process that is flexible. The Color Vita Complex is in all surface products. Ceramide NP provides a UV shield. Ceramides are fruit fats and lipids. The antioxidants derived from these fruits also reduce free radicals to 
to help preserve color in between and during shampoos and conditioning. Surface is cruelty free, organic ingredient formulated, paraben free, gluten free, sulfate free, vegan, and the ingredients are all sustainably developed. Completely free of PVPVA plastics, which is one of the most key things to reduce frizzing in curly hair. Surface curls. What is it? Hair care and styling products for curly textured hair. What it does? Moisturize, define, eliminate frizz, and increase hair's elasticity. How it works? But basu oil carries cocoa butter deep into the hair, strengthening the curls bonds while moisturizing. Glycoprotein eliminates frizz and increases elasticity. Who's it for? Curly and textured hair needing moisture control definition. Style smooth or curly. Problem it solves. Define or smooth curls increase elasticity and moisture from the inside out. Hashtag surface curls. This is a great place to go to be able to explore the beautiful successes with surface curls and for stylists to be able to show their guests. Be able to forward them to them, take a look at the experiences with it. A wonderful area for you to be able to market from. Curls is a system, a system of caring and styling, both to embrace curls and to smooth them. The best way to get into the care system is definitely with the curl shadow box, the shampoo, the conditioner, and the curl whip leave-in conditioner. Curl shampoo, cleanse, moisturize, detangle, soften, shine, protect color, all while being sulfate free. Please make special note here, natural cleansing. In past years and actually past decades, there's been claims made to not shampoo the scalp, no poo shampoo, no lather shampoo. And in fact, that's led to many challenges with scalp irritations and with hair loss. Please know that the Curl Shampoo is a natural cleansing system with naturally derived organic cleansers, very gentle and it seals moisture into the hair. You need a healthy scalp to produce healthy curls. The Curls Conditioner is your moisturizing, detangling, softening, shines, and also protects color. The Curl Whip Mousse is a leave-in conditioner. Tremendous detangler, moisturizer, anti-frizz properties, gives you natural control and protects color. You apply it to clean, damp hair. Apply in small amounts to small sections of the hair and apply from the ends up as you squeeze in. The reason that Curl Whip is a mousse is to have the maximum light and airiness as it wraps the curl to really condition it as it's detangled. How does it work? A high concentration of glycoproteins bind the hair's fiber, the cuticle and cortex together to provide detangling, control, and anti-frizzing. Curl's mask, deep moisture, repair, shine, protect color, and bake in moisture treatment. Love your frizz-free hair. A key ingredient here is Moringa. With over 30 antioxidants, 10 vitamins, 18 minerals, 8 essential amino acids, and 10 non-essential amino acids, Moringa renews, protects, and rebuilds the internal structure of curls, strengthens elasticity, and moisturizes and locks in that moisture. How do you use it? The simple way is after a shampoo, apply to wet hair, massage in, leave 60 seconds and rinse. Prior to applying your styling product, you may apply a small amount of the curls mask and leave it in. The maximum treatment is the moisture bake. We'll address that a little bit later. The curl serum. The serum being heavier than an oil for maximum shine, moisture and repair. The problem it solves reduces color fading and moisture loss from curly hair. What is it? It's a Curl Care Serum. Who's it for? Medium to coarse curly hair. Curly hair that has been colored. What it does? 
hydrates, moisturizes, and shields UV. How to use it. Apply daily to hair wet or dry. Use alone or layer with surface curl styling. Use dry prior to thermal pressing. How does it work? It fills porous, moisture deficient curly hair. The Babasu oil drives a concentration of cocoa butter, color beta complex, and glycoproteins deep into the hair. On in between days of shampoo, when those ends become thirsty again, it's so important to apply the curl serum so that there is not color fadage or moisture fadage during the day. Frizz Free Spray Gel. Set your curls, blow dry smooth, use a loner layer, provide shine and humidity resistance. This lightweight sugar gel wraps hair to eliminate frizz. To use it, mist damp hair prior to applying curl defining or smoothing product. It may be used alone for light natural control. Firm mousse, defining fibers, hold and shine. Cream wax, define your curls, shine your curls, provide texture and a control hold. Use the cream wax dry to define curls. Use it damp for a natural, very soft texture pattern. Smoothing cream, blow dry hair smooth, shine, moisturize, anti-frizz and protect color. The problem it solves, it reduces volume, dry time and frizz during the blow dry. Who's it for? Medium to coarse curly hair. What it does, it reduces volume by up to 50%, reduces dry time by up to 30%. It shines, conditions, and color protects, provides humidity resistance. How to use it? Apply to clean, damp hair and blow dry. For the best results, mist the hair first with the curls frizz-free. How it works. Tourmaline mineral reacts with heat to tighten the hair during blow drying and seals in the necessary moisture while reducing volume. Natural sugars and glycoproteins provide style memory, protection, and humidity resistance. Finishing spray. Defining fibers, hold, shine, and use for thermal styling. The problem the curls finishing spray solves, it eliminates the crunch and frizz of traditional hairsprays. What is it? It's a hairspray for curly hair to embrace or smooth your curls. Who's it for? All curly hair types. What it does? Style memory and protection free of crunch and frizz. How to use it? Mist dry curls for definition and style memory. Mist into damp curls for definition. And thermal styler for flat iron or curling iron work to set a curl. How does it work? Natural sugars and glycoproteins provide style memory, protection, and humidity resistance. Curl care. Whether you embrace or smooth your curls, this is the curl care system. Curl shampoo, conditioner, and Curl Whip Leave-In Conditioner. Here are your options. The Sermon, Serum provided wet or dry to defrizz, the Mask Intense Moisture or a Moisture Baked Treatment, and the One Shot to thicken and strengthen your ends. Curl Care, Shampoo, Conditioner. Leave the conditioner on for one minute. With extreme tangles, comb it out in the shower while rinsing. Towel blot hair, do not rub dry. Leave the hair wet to the touch. Number three, apply your Curl Whip Leave-In Conditioner. Apply a golf ball amount to sections each side and back. Apply from the ends up and then gently separate the curls using fingers and the surface TK2 rake. For additional options for maximum hydration and moisture for extremely coarse hair, after applying the Curl Whip, apply the Curl Serum to the driest areas. Use Basu Oil on fine hair. To enhance the uneven curl pattern, after applying Curl Whip and separating the curls, mist on swirl. 
To strengthen weak hair ends, use one shot. The Curls Bake System. A great place to see seeing is believing is hashtag surface curls bake. Some amazing before and afters there for you to learn from and also for you to share with salon guests. The five steps. Number one, shampoo, two lathers. Remember, this is gentle scalp cleansing and maintaining moisture. Then take the mask and squeeze in. Do not rinse, do not comb. Squeeze it from the ends up. And yes, after the shampoo, you have towel blotted that hair. Number three, here's an option for tight frizz and weak ends. For tight frizz, use a little serum over the top. And for weak ends, add a little one shot. Number four, is your curl whip. Squeeze it in, do not rinse, and up to this point you've not detangled that hair. Detangle it, mist a little bit of frizz free, and dry into your curls. Do not rinse them out. Styling curls. Frizz free spray gel. Begin all curl styling defined or smooth with a mist of frizz free spray gel. Styling smooth, you then apply your smoothing cream after your blow dry, if you're flat ironing, use your curl spray. Finish detailing with curl serum. To define your curls, after this frizz free spray gel, use the curls firm mousse. When you're a bit damp, use the curls finishing spray. Finish with the curls finishing spray and then detail with curls cream wax. On their very frizzy ends, also curl serum. And remember, for that colored hair, curl serum is a must daily. Product application. Following your curl care, ensure that the hair has even moisture and is wet to the touch. If porous sections of the hair have been dried more than others, mist the hair with water or for added strength, mist the Trinity tonic. The reason for this is porous hair, especially the curls, will absorb too much of your styling product. Apply the Frizz Free Spray Gel before applying your choice curl styling product. Apply the styling product beginning at the ends of the hair and gently scrunching up the hair shaft towards the scalp. Separate curls with the Surface TK2 rake. Lift the base of the curls away from the scalp using the pick end of the rake. The less stretch or tension on the curl, the better. Additional wet styling options. Bliss Smoothing Cream. Used to blow dry to maintain body while blow drying smooth especially recommended for finer curly hair. Taffy Whip, defined with a spring-like finish. Jump Mousse, for extra root boost with a flexible crunch. Push Powder, applied dry for root lift. And Taffy Spray Wax, lightly mist dry, squeeze into the curls for instant glamour. Now diffusing defined curls. Number one, Air dry for as long as possible or until 80% dry before diffusing. Diffuse the curls by tipping ahead to the side or back, allowing curls to loosely drop into the diffuser. Let gravity be your friend. For added definition during diffusing, mist the damp curls with curls finishing spray. Use minimal contact with hands or fingers. Friction equals frizz. Reduce the friction with your hair. Start with a high heat and a low airflow. When 80% dry, switch to a cool air. When 80% dry, gently lift the hair and that's the best time for the curls finishing spray mist. Diffuse to 100% dry. Mist curls finishing spray at that point. An option. For more lift and volume, Use surface clips to lightly lift the roots from the scalp while diffusing. Surface clip setting. Use this technique to clip set curls during a curls mask moisture bake or use curls firm mousse to clip set your style. Use the surface TK2 rig to separate your curl pattern. Loosely pin curl sections around three fingers and wrap to the scalp. Clip with your surface clip. Continue around the head, setting curls in the direction you wish for the final movement to flow. One clip will hold two sections. To maintain the length of the style, do not pin the curl at the nape. 
The surface clips provide excellent control and do not interfere with the curl pattern. Mist all curls with curls finishing spray and place under a dryer until 100% dry. Be sure to check the hair of the tips of the clips to make sure that they're dry as well. Place curls cream wax on your fingertips prior to removing the clips as this will lessen the friction with the hair. Detail the curls with your curls cream wax. 10 must do's for curly hair. Number one, healthy scalp. Curl shampoo gently cleanses the scalp while moisturizing the hair. Towel blot and squeeze the hair, do not ruffle dry. Number two, maintain root lift for curls. Immediately after styling, mist the scalp with Trinity Dry Shampoo. If the scalp perspires, the Trinity Dry Shampoo will absorb the moisture, allowing for root lift of the curls to be maintained. Number three, second day healthy scalp. On days that you do not shampoo, every morning refresh your scalp with a mist of the Trinity Dry Shampoo. Keep color lasting longer by reducing the fading through dry porous areas. Apply curl serum twice per day every day for fine hair curls use basu oil. Number five must do for curly hair. Second day curls are frizz free with surface curls. Refresh these curls with curls cream wax, curl serum, and or curls hairspray. Number six, curly haircut is a must. Certified surface curl stylists are trained to cut curly hair with control and no tension. They identify the proper place within the curl pattern to cut and they allow for curl shrinkage. Number seven, frizz free styling. Have curls cream wax or curl serum on fingertips when defining curls. Use the surface TK2 rake to separate and lift curls. Remember, friction equals frizz. Number eight, curl over curl. When hair is 100% dry, reinforce weak curls by misting curls hairspray over the section and curl with a curling iron. Number nine, diffuse on low air flow with high heat. When 80% dry, mist the curls hairspray and switch to cool. Always diffuse to 100% dry. Here it comes, ready? Number 10, choose ammonia-free color for textured hair. Number one reason, it gentle delivery of color is a must. Ammonia-free is less swelling. Remember, curly textured hair already has stress on those internal bonds. Number two reason behind ammonia-free, Gentle oxidization. Ammonia free is better condition. Number three, eliminate free radicals, being sure that your color uses enzyme cream activators. Number four, why ammonia free color for textured hair? Longer lasting color achieved through bond building attachment of color. Now, pure color is an excellent choice for this. Let's see some quick reasons why. Now, First of all, hair is lightened and color deposited how? It swells. At that point, oxidization must occur where protein and melanin are broken down for a space to be created and color fills the space. Remember, on curly hair, we have to be so gentle in the swelling and the oxidization. Ammonia, there's more swelling, there's a large oxidized space and more damage. In ammonia-free, there's less swelling, small oxidization and better condition. Specifically with pure color, number one, the basu oil helps penetrate and moisturize as the hair swells ammonia-free. Number two, ammonia-free oxidization maintains condition. Color fills the space and the color is also PPD-free. The bond building attachment of color is so important when you're working ammonia-free. A challenge with ammonia free is sometimes color will not last as long. With pure color, we've been able to overcome that by having a protein attachment of color. And we eliminate free radicals with the use of enzyme cream activators. Bond building attachment is a key to the beauty and the longevity of curly hair and lasting hair color. Enzyme cream activators, the way they really work, 
is when the free radicals occur with inside the hair for and when it's oxidizing, immediately the pectinase and the moringa eliminate them. So when the light comes into the hair, the maximum shine comes out. And that's so important with that natural curly hair. Surface curls. We've explored the texture. We understood what frizz is. The five necessities for beautiful, healthy curls. Caring for curls. Styling curls defined and smooth. And reviewing the 10 must-dos for curly hair. For much more information on surface and curls in general, please visit us at vimeo.com surface hair for our Surface U University. You'll see on their technique videos as well that are to trend release styling. Please explore these and learn. Ultimately, look to Surface to find out when there's a certification hands-on cutting and caring for curls near you. To become a curl certified stylist with not only the knowledge of the curl and styling behind you, but the actual cutting. Thank you for becoming a curl certified stylist in advance. I know you'll attend now. Wayne Grund here saying, please identify your guest needs, maximize those needs, and love your frizz free hair. Activated charcoal hair care is a whole new world of volume and texture. Activated charcoal adsorbs any of the impurities from the top of the hair shaft with the shampoo and then ultimately the conditioner supports this adding a seaweed fiber. Let's take a look at it. It's a very new world though. When I take a look at the shampoo, you'll see that it's actually black with the fiber. Now this doesn't stain, it rinses right away, but it leaves the hair lighter than it's ever been before. And then the conditioner itself, you can see it also has some activated charcoal to it. And it also has a seaweed fiber that interlinks on the hair, creating both volume and texture together. When it comes to the styling products, when we want volume, but we want that textured feel, the textured feel comes to us from the seaweed fiber. What we do is we start with the gel mousse. It comes out as a mousse. And then the charred gel mousse turns into a light gel. So put into the wet hair and blow dry, those fibers come together, giving you both texture and volume. But now comes char. You want to talk volume and texture? Because not only does this push the hair apart, as we talked with jump, these are where the fibers are of the seaweed. So let's see what can happen here. And she told me she wants to walk through the door sideways because her hair is going to be too big to get through it straight on. So now we start to see, and this is a, it's a really cool texture feel that I have to the hair. Now, another textured look we see is for our medium to shorts. One of my fun ones here, yep, our shag. Now, what we blow dry here with is our char blow dry paste. The activated charcoal fiber and the seaweed create a beautiful base to it. And then we'll take that paste and we'll go ahead and we'll do some detailing. Just separate, piece it out. And I love this because it's the same product that gives me my textured blow dry that then I use for dry detailing. Very easy. If you want texture and you want volume, your choice is char. Surface men easily create and keep your style. One of the first things that all men comment on is the fragrance is amazing. Well, the fragrance is very relevant. It's a sandalwood fiber as well as bamboo. We're able to have a complete shampoo, face, body wash, and conditioner in one bottle. The men absolutely love it. It helps exfoliate as well as helps cleanse and refresh in the scalp. Now, when it comes to men's styling, a couple things to note. I want to have a styling product that's going to last through maybe a hard hat day or a business office day. It has to be resistant to heat. Let's take a look at a couple here. For an active look, the first thing we're gonna do is we'll start off with the mud. The mud is a 
nice soft fiber, very pliable. Take the mud in my hand, work it through. And in fact, a great idea in the salon is to put it into his hand and have him run it through the hair himself. At this point, we can blow dry, we can let it dry natural. It stays flexible, but it gives him just a nice, easy control. Let's take a look at the volume that we would have if we blow dry. Now, when it comes to blow drying, this is one of the favorite brush for men as well. This is our contour brush. Now, with our blow dry complete, nice natural look for the day, or we may choose a little bit more of a detailing in it. For detailing, we'll go with the dry wax. The dry wax has zero water. It is a very dry wax, and the reason for that, we don't want it to melt, by the way, until it has heat and friction. So we combine the heat and friction, and I work it in through my hands to melt it before it goes into his hair. The reason for this, it's gonna last. So we come in, detail it through, and the dry wax gives me just a beautiful, beautiful controlled look to his hair. Keeping it very, very, very easy. But now what if he wants that real wet, hard look? For a hard gel look, the number one choice is men's hard. This has the highest concentrations really possible of natural sugars, free of plastics. You'll see it comes out very, 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 very thick. And in fact, it's such a hard concentration of sugars that it doesn't spread nicely in my hand until I wet it. So I have to give them a little bit of that education to make sure the hair is damp. Take it through the hair and now it spreads through brilliantly. So you can see we had an active look, glamorize it a little bit with dry wax. And then now for that hard gel look, the men's heart. Very simple, very easy men's system. But now when it comes to the guys, there is some options that we add to it from the rest of our surface family. Number one would be awaken. See, if he was thinning, instead of the men's, <clears throat> excuse me, shampoo, he would still use it as a face and body wash, the men's, but he would move to the awaken shampoo. To maximize the thickness for his hair, he would start with a pre-shampoo on the scalp of the elixir. He would then shampoo, rinse, condition with the awakening. He'd have a short thinning hair. He'd still use the conditioner to help condition his scalp as well as his hair. He would then come back onto it with the elixir. He would then put on the treatment on the scalp. And then here's a magic bullet that all men love, as well as women, and this is the thickening spray. So before I went into my men's styling, I would mist the hair first with a thickening spray to wrap the botanical fiber around it. And then he would use his choice, styler. For a men's hairspray to support with it, all guys love Awaken. And the Awaken spray is one, I'll even use it over the hard gel just even to firm it more. But if you took a look at the first look that we did with the mud and the wax, it gives me hold, but it also gives me a thickening fiber. So you've got your Awaken to support the surface man. Hmm, pretty cool looking beard he's got going on. For a very coarse beard, what we use is the Curl Serum. Take it, soft pump into the hand, and then take the serum just over top of the beard. It helps soften and really control that beard. If you have a finer beard, a lighter beard, what you want to use is the basu oil. But I'd say probably 75 to 80 percent of the men on their beards would use the curl syrup. It gives you that extra moisture just to control and soften. The other add-on for the men's products, for your thinning men, is your airlift. That let little mist in the hair to give them the extra volume. As you can see, it all begins with surface men. It's easy, the style is lasting, you have the add-on options of Awaken, of the curls for the beard, the basu for the beard, and a little bit of the airlift. For the men, keep it easy, 
keep it simple surface hair health and art